probability of compound events. Compound events consist of two or more simple events that are connected by the word and or or. For the probability of compound events, let us use the given Venn diagram. We have the event A, event B, and event C. So from this give, given Venn diagram, the sample space will be A, B, D, E, F, I, P, Q, R, T, U. So for the event A, for this given event A, we have the outcomes A, B, E, R, and T. Then for event B, we have the outcomes I, R, T, and U. For event C, we have P and Q. Then from here, for the event A, or the A union B, so again, when we talk about A union B, we have to get the outcomes in the event A, or event B, or both event A and B. So therefore, we have to combine all the outcomes here. We have A, B, E, I, R, T, U. Then for our A intersection B, it means the outcomes that are common in event A and B. So we have R, T. Then for B union C, we have to get all the outcomes in the event B or event C or both event B and C. So we have I, P, Q, R, T, U. And for our C complement, which means the outcomes that can be found in the given sample space but not found in the event C. So we have P and Q for the outcomes in the event C. So we have to disregard P and Q. So we'll have A, B, D, E, F, I, and then we have R, T, U. So again, for the probability of our A, so we have here five outcomes, A, B, E, T, R. So that would be the number of elements in the event A over the number of elements in the sample space. So we have 11 letters. So therefore, the probability of A is now equal to 5 over 11. Then for the probability of B, so the number of elements in the event B, we have P, R, U, I. So we have 4. And for the number of elements in the sample space, again, is 11. So we have 4 over 11. Then for the probability of A union B. So for our A union B, we have A, B, E, T, R, U, I. There are 7 outcomes. Over the number of elements in the sample space again, which is 11. So we have 7 over 11. Then for the probability of A intersection B, the intersection between A and B, we have T and R. So we have two outcomes. And over the number of elements again in the sample space, which is 11, so we have probability of A intersection B is equal to 2 over 11. So again, here are the probabilities that we have identified. 
we can see now that the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. So if we're going to substitute the values we obtained a while ago, the probability of A is 5 over 11 plus the probability of B is 4 over 11 minus the probability of A intersection B is 2 over 11. And since we have similar fractions, we simply perform the operations in the numerator and then we copy the denominator. So 5 plus 4 is 9, minus 2 is 7, and then we copy 11. Therefore, the probability of A union B is equal to 7 over 11, which is the same of what we have solved a while ago, that it is equal to 7 over 11. So, for the probability of union of two events, the union of two events is a new event that contains all the outcomes that are in at least one of the two events. The probability of the union of events A and B denoted by this symbol, or this is read again as probability of A union B. So let us have the illustration. So we have different cases for the union of events. So in the first given illustration, we have the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B when the two events have common outcomes. On the other hand, in the second illustration, we have the probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus the probability of B. If you have noticed, we don't have common outcomes between the two given events. And for the last illustration, we have the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of B when our Event A is a subset of the given event B. And for the probability of intersection of two events, the intersection of two events is a new event that contains all the outcomes that are in both events. The probability of the intersection of events A and B is denoted by this symbol. And again, this is read as probability of A intersection B. So let's have this illustrations. So the first illustration we have seen the probability of A intersection B. So this shaded region between the two given events will now be the common outcomes for the intersection. On the second illustration, we have the probability of A intersection B is equal to zero. Since there is no common outcomes, the probability is automatically B equal to zero. And for the last illustration, we have probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A. So again, our probability or event A now is a subset of the event B. Okay, let's have example number one. A pair of dice is rolled. What is the probability that the sum of the numbers is even or greater than 8? So we have the word or. So we're talking about the probability of A union B. So let's say our A be the event that the sum of the numbers is even. And let B be the event that the sum of the number is greater than 8. So we have again the probability of A or B, or that is the probability of A union B. 
So, if we're going to roll two dice, we'll have 36 outcomes. So, we have 36 outcomes in rolling two dice. So, in one die, we have the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, since we're going to pair one of each outcome in two different dice will form 36 outcomes and then let's say we use the given table so the table shows all the possible sounds and then we have two four six then we also have another four six then eight we have another 4, 6, 8, 6, 8, 10, 6, 8, 10, and 8, 10, 12. So they are all even numbers when we find the sum of the outcome. So each outcome showing an even sum. So if we're going to take the probability of having the sum of the numbers is even, we have 18 over 36. So the number of elements having an even sum is 18 over the number of elements in the sample space again is 36. So this is it is 18 over 36. Then for the sum of the numbers is greater than 8. So we have greater than 8 is we have 9, we have also 10, 11, then 12. So with this, we have a total of 10 outcomes. And since we're talking about the probability of B or the sum of the numbers is greater than 8, so we have 10 over 36. And then we have to observe if we have outcomes that is even and at the same time is greater than 8. So from the given table, we can see that our 10 and 12 are both even and greater than 8. So we have the number of elements in this will be 4. So to get the probability of a intersection B, we have 4 over 36. So, for us to find the probability of A or B or the probability of A union B, which is the probability that the sum of the numbers is even or greater than 8, we use the formula probability of A plus probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. And then we have solved a while ago that the probability of A is equal to 18 over 36, probability of B is 10 over 36, and the probability of A intersection B is 4 over 36. So we have 18 over 36 plus 10 over 36 minus 4 over 36. So we add again. 18 plus 10 is 28 minus 4 is 24 so we have 24 over 36 they are both divisible by 12 so we have simplified as 2 over 3 so again the probability of having sum is even or sum is greater than 8 is 2 over 3